All right, what's going on guys? It's Uncle Jesse here. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update here on the latest Xbox One preview program build that allows you to go in and stream content from your Xbox One to Windows 10 PCs, or in my case, I've got it set up on my MacBook Pro. Uh, to do this, it's, uh, it's really pretty cool. It's actually very easy to go and do. Uh, and it's actually, the, the performance of this is much better than I was anticipating. Uh, I've got my Xbox One hardwired into the wall to my, to my router. It could be wireless as well, but you're probably gonna get a little bit better connection on a wired setup. Uh, I've got my laptop running wirelessly. I've got the uh, latest uh, Windows 10 preview build uh, in place here. Um, I can't remember what the what the exact model is. I'll list the details in the description down below. Uh, I'm on my Mac here, which means I'm running Parallels. Uh, you can actually download, I believe, a free trial of Parallels as well as the, the actual this Windows 10 beta that they've got running is free as well for you to go and install. Uh, so you can actually go in and do all of this for free if you're in the preview program. So this is really cool. Uh, I was testing it out earlier today and it was upstairs in my living room and it was one running phenomenally. <laughs> uh, so here, uh, what I've done is I've got my Xbox One controller, uh, I've got the, the charging cable plugged into my Mac, uh, which is connected to the uh, Windows 10 PC here. Uh, what you wanna do in order to actually set this up is make sure you go into settings uh, under preferences, you'll want to make sure that you've got under system and app that allow game streaming to other devices, which is in beta right now. You want to make sure that you have that checked off. Uh, this will not work if you're not part of the preview program and if you do not have that setting checked right there. Uh, the other bit is that you'll need to make sure that you have the latest build of uh, Windows 10. Uh, and again, I've got the, I'll put in the description down below what that actual build number is. Uh, and once you have that installed, the other thing that you're gonna wanna make sure you do is go in and, um, uh, so here I'll, I'll actually just show you guys how this actually works here. So I'll back out of the streaming. Um, and it crashes on me every time I try and back out of the streaming. Uh, but you'll wanna make sure that you go into the App Store that they have, and it's the blue app store, not the green app store. Uh, so it's the app store beta, and download the latest version of the Xbox app. So once you're in here, you're gonna search for Xbox. Make sure you've got the latest version of the app installed uh, in order to run this. And then it's just a matter of launching the app. And from the app, it's gonna be, you're gonna be able to see your, your most recent games that you played all things that are going on in your activity feed, any messages you've got here, any updates, achievements, uh, game DVRs. What you'll wanna do is go down to this little Xbox icon here. Um, so connect to your Xbox and I can turn on, turn off, and then I can stream directly to my Xbox. So here I can say stream. And once this actually goes in and connects, I'll show you something else that you can do with this as well. So. I'm now streaming. So here I've got my controller set up and controlling the, I've got my, my surround sound muted down here and you can see in real time that it's pretty accurate. I mean, it's, there's probably a few millisecond delay here, uh, but it's not bad. Um, as well as if you come up here, you can do things like mute your microphone. Um, you can go to the Xbox home button by pressing this. You can stop streaming. Oh, sorry, I've got I'm sitting in front of my Kinect. Stop listening, forgot about that. Uh, as well as if you come over here to this little setting, you can change what's the broadcast light. Is it going to be low quality, medium quality, or high quality? All depends on your bandwidth. You can go in and test it out. I've got mine set at medium, and you'll notice down at the very bottom here, uh, it shows you what your actual performance is like when doing that. And so let's go in and do something fun. Let's load up uh, the Gears beta and let me show you guys how, uh, how this actually looks. So uh, I, I've tried using also the Xbox 360 controller and it, the wireless controller plugged in through the wire did not work. I believe if you have a hardwired 360 controller, that will work. Microsoft is also putting out a, uh, in the coming months here, a little wireless adapter that you can plug into your laptop so that you don't have to wire in 
your controller as well. All right, here's a look at Geometry Wars. This actually works very well. I was playing the hell out of this earlier. All right, so here's a look at Forza. So again, I've got my graphics set at medium. I think this looks pretty well, pretty good. Um, the response time, while it might be like a millisecond off, this is great. So instead of watching um, Super Y or Mickey Mouse or any of that other stuff that I will get stuck watching in the mornings or on the weekends with my son, uh, as much as I love those cartoons, this will now allow me to play some games wherever I'm at in the house while he's doing his thing. All right, so there are, um, you know, this isn't perfect by any means. This is, a, in fact, a beta, uh, so there will be occasions where you get disconnected or uh, it stops working or the application crashes, whatever it may be. Uh, this is the type of feedback that Microsoft's looking for. So as you see here, it actually crashed in the middle of me trying to switch games. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it happens from time to time with this. Uh, All right, guys, hope you liked the video. Again, this was how you can stream your Xbox One games wirelessly directly to a PC on your network. Uh, I'm running mine to a Mac. Again, I'm using Parallels. You can use uh, VMware, I believe, is also another one that you could use. Uh, just make sure you download the Windows 10 preview program. You get the latest version. If you're part of the preview program, you get the latest version of the preview program installed on your Xbox, as well as you have the latest version of the Xbox app uh, from the beta store in Windows 10 installed on your uh, installed on your uh, PC. Hey again, guys, please like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I appreciate all the love you guys are leaving here, uh, as well as if you're interested in joining the Xbox preview pr program, uh, don't hesitate to leave me a message. All I ask is that you please like, subscribe to the channel here, and then shoot me a message on Xbox. All right. Hey, thanks again, guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.